Good morning from sunny Barbados. Now, I have spent the last 10 days exploring this absolutely beautiful, beautiful island. And in this video, I wanna share with you my top 10 travel tips that you need to be aware of when you travel to Barbados. It's gonna include all the things that you should do, the things that you definitely shouldn't do, and also the things that you need to be aware of so that when you travel here, you feel fully equipped to fully enjoy your trip in Barbados. Right, here we go with travel tip number one. Now, this is really important because it's gonna affect everybody that travels to Barbados right now. Upon your arrival, if you are fully vaccinated, you will also have to have a second PCR test at the airport. Now, the results for this test will arrive to you apparently within 24 to 48 hours. During that period, you have to quarantine at a hotel, and it's gotta be a designated hotel. There's a big list of them on the BIMSAFE app, so don't worry. Chances are when you book a hotel, that hotel will be one of the accredited hotels, but you are restricted to stay in your hotel and its grounds until you receive your test results. However, there is actually being documented a large number of people whose tests were either inconclusive and the results went missing. It just so happened that when I came to Barbados, this trip, I didn't get my results back and neither did my dad. My mum got her results back after 72 hours, right? But because she was in the same party of us, she was still restricted to the hotel. She was not able to leave. She had to wait until everybody in the party got their results back. Now, it got to 100 hours, five days into our trip. It was our fifth day, and I'd still not heard anything back from anyone regarding my results. I got in contact with numerous people to try and chase it up for us, but there was absolutely no luck. We kind of came to the conclusion that our results had, in fact, gone missing. So, what are your options, and what am I suggesting? If by the 48-hour mark, you have heard nothing back, it is fair to assume that your test results have potentially gone missing. Speak to your hotel, they will book you a COVID approved taxi, which will take you to the gymnasium, just a little bit outside of Bridgetown, and there you will be allowed a second free PCR test. Now, for us to do that, it took three hours. We waited outside at the gymnasium, which is a little bit of a shambles. It's not very organized there, but it was our only option. We waited there for three hours. And after explaining my situation to the gentleman that we'd been in quarantine for five days of our trip and emailing the Ministry of Tourism, and I actually ended up emailing the Prime Minister of Barbados, which was crazy because I actually got a response directly from her understanding the situation, we were actually provided with a 45 minute rapid PCR test on the day at the gymnasium. Lo and behold, our results came back negative and we were finally free to enjoy our holiday. Travel tip number two. All over the beaches on Barbados, you will find these trees that are occasionally marked with red. Absolutely do not touch those trees. Don't touch the bark and definitely don't go near the little green fruits on the beach that are beside the tree. But they are a problem in Barbados. If you touch the bark of those trees, it will result in serious blistering all over your skin. They are very poisonous. But if you eat the fruit, the little green, they literally look like baby apples that haven't ripened yet, like this big. You'll see them everywhere. If you eat those fruit, you can potentially end up asphyxiating and dying. So this second travel tip is really, really important. Be aware of these fruits, be aware of the trees marked with red, and do not go anywhere near them and do not touch the fruit. Next, I wanna give you guys more of a general travel tip. Usually as a solo traveler, I'm spending a lot of time alone. And because for me, these trips are often work trips where I'm back to back filming content, shooting activities, editing videos, I tend to get pretty overwhelmed and feel stressed. And that's why I wanted to work with BetterHelp, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp offer licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. They have over 20,000 therapists with a wide range of expertise. And because you can book and talk to your therapists online at your convenience, this can give you access to help that may not be available in your area. I know that when I travel and I'm alone in a different country, sometimes it's hard for me to find someone to talk to, but BetterHelp 
solve that problem. Signing up is a super simple process. Just fill out the questionnaire that'll help assess your needs and you'll get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You can then schedule regular video or phone sessions with your therapist and exchange unlimited messages whenever you like. And of course, it's all completely confidential. But if you ever feel like your therapist isn't a perfect match, you can simply request a new therapist at any time, absolutely free. So join the 2 million people who have taken control of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. I've got a 10% discount code here, so you can get 10% off your first month, and it's gonna be linked in the description below. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. Travel tip number three. Now, I would highly suggest at some point during your trip here in Barbados, booking a tour with Glory Tours. They offer a whole host of different tours around the island in their air-conditioned van with really, really knowledgeable tour guides. We had Corey and Kwame who were incredible. Kwame was actually a graduate in history, so he had so much knowledge about everything Barbados' history, British history and the involvement there. Now, the reason that I would suggest doing a tour with Glory Tours though is because it is a fantastic way to see the island in a really short space of time. You're gonna see all the best landmarks, the best things to do, and it's gonna be organized in a really efficient way, providing you ample time at each stop to get your photos, to hear about what the facts are, to learn about the things at that place, and then you're gonna move on to the next spot. On the beautiful Barbados tour, we also got to try Rum Punch, made by Mike himself, who owns a company out here that supplies incredible rum punch. I believe it's the best-selling rum punch on the island. For that, the link will be in the description below, so go ahead and book that tour. Next up, travel tip number four. Go to Oystin's Fish Fry on a Friday or a Saturday. Oystin's Fish Fry is basically a bustling night market with lots of reggae music playing, lots of locals, the smells of all the fish being cooked, the food, the grills, the people talking, you know, drinking. It's a really, really lively place and a really fun place to go on a Friday or a Saturday. We ate at Pat's, which was amazing. We got the flying fish, which here in Barbados, you'll find all over the place. The fish actually fly in the sea and they are absolutely delicious. It's the national dish here in Barbados. You've got to try it, it's amazing. Oystin's Fish Fry is a lot of fun. It's a great place to meet people, to mingle, to have a few beers, go with your family, go with your friends. But of course, right now, there isn't any live music, but there is music playing from different speakers. There's loads of different bars. You can go from one to the next. You can grab little bites to eat here and there in different food places. But on a Friday and a Saturday, you have to add Oystin's Fish Fry to your list of things to do. Travel tip number five, go on a food tour of Bridgetown. Now, the company that I used was Licorice Food Tours, and I would probably suggest doing this on day one or day two of your trip. It's only a three hour trip, but during that period, you'll be introduced to all the different Bayesian foods that Barbados is famous for. So it will put you in really good standing for the rest of your trip as you'll have already have been introduced to the foods of the island. So it will be really helpful in when you're ordering at different restaurants, what you do and don't like and what things you want to try more of. But as well in that three hour period, you're actually gonna kill two birds with one stone. You're not only gonna try the Bayesian foods, but you're also gonna get a really cool little tour of Bridgetown, which is the capital and an incredibly amazing city. It's the most famous city in the whole of the West Indies and you will absolutely love it. Again, to book this tour with Licorice, the link will be in the description below. So go ahead and book that food tour. Next up, we've got travel tip number six. You have to go swimming with the sea turtles. Sea turtles are an unbelievable creature, right? We booked it with Calabaza. It was a five hour lunch tour. We got picked up again from the hotel and dropped off at the end at 2 p.m. And they took us on their luxury style catamaran. It's an all-inclusive catamaran. So once you're on there, you can drink as much rum punch as you want, any drinks, any food. There's a light breakfast included and also a delicious Bayesian lunch. 
But the great thing about this tour is it will take you to the best waters to go snorkeling. Snorkeling gear is also included, so you don't have to worry about that. But there will be three different snorkeling spots. The first stop will take you to where the sea turtles are, and they are absolutely incredible to see. Unfortunately, because it is September, it is breeding season. So 11 months out of the year, you'll be surrounded by sea turtles. And in September, you might only see the odd one. We saw about four but it was still an absolutely amazing thing to see. The second two snorkeling spots, they will both be two shipwreck sites, which is pretty cool to see the shipwrecks and all the coral that have formed on there. And we also saw some barracuda. And then at the end of the tour, they will take you to Sandy Lane Beach, which is of course the most expensive luxury resort on the island. But because again, all the beaches are public in Barbados, we docked up, we had some food, which was delicious. Then we actually swam over to the shore and walked along Sandy Lane Beach, which was a lovely way to end our trip with Calabaza. So again, if you wanna book that tour, make sure you click the link in the description below. That will be available for you there. Next up, we got travel tip number seven. Now, what is Barbados extremely famous for? Of course, it is their rum punch. Mount Gay Rum is the oldest brand of rum company in the world, established in 1703. And all over the island, you'll be able to try their famous drink. It's called Rum Punch, and it's delicious. Every bar, every place will tell you that they do the best rum punch on the island. And to be quite honest, I've found that, that in every place I've gone to and tried the rum punch, I've been like, this is the best. No, this is the best. This is the best rum punch. So when you're here, make sure you try the rum punch. It is absolutely delicious. They actually serve it with grated nutmeg in there. So it just adds a little bit of a different, unique sort of flavor. And you will absolutely love it. So here we go with travel tip number eight. Now, this is regarding transport around the island. There are these privately owned buses that you can catch. They're called reggae buses. You cannot miss them. They're these yellow buses and they are pretty precarious to say the least, right? They either drive extremely fast or really slow. And the reason that they're called reggae buses is because they play reggae music very, very loud. Now, I understand from an experience perspective, it's worth doing. It's probably worth just jumping on one, getting the experience because all the locals catch these buses pretty cheap. Just sit on there and just kind of get the experience. But personally, if I'm gonna rely on this form of transport to get around the island, I'm not gonna be confident that I'm gonna get to my destination on time or in one piece. So, I mean, when it comes to getting around the island, I would highly suggest hire a car. It provides you with that flexibility and the convenience to do things at your own pace in your own time. Tip number nine, and that is try different kinds of accommodation on the island. Whilst we were here, we did three different kinds because there are many different kinds of accommodation on the island. We stayed in a private luxury villa, which is where we're staying right now. So we're here on our own. We stayed in an all-inclusive resort style hotel and we stayed in a more boutique style hotel. The start of our trip, we decided to stay at Little Archers. And the reason for that is if you stay there and you stay in one of their luxury deluxe ocean suites, you actually get a swimming pool on the doorstep of your room, which is amazing because for us, our quarantine period didn't even really feel like a quarantine. The great thing about the quarantine here in Barbados is you are actually able to use the facilities of the hotel that you're staying in. So you can use the restaurant, which is Cafe Luna on the rooftop, which is one of the best restaurants on the island. You've got to eat there at some point. And also the hotel is absolutely beautiful. The staff are amazing because it's only got 10 rooms. You start to develop a little bit of a relationship with the staff there. So they get to know you, they get to know what you do and don't like. And it is a really great experience, especially to spend your quarantine period at. Then we stayed at the Soko Resort style all-inclusive hotel, which to be honest, I've had a bit of an iffy situation previously with all-inclusives. I find buffet foods not that great. The quality's, you know, a little bit low average. But the great thing about the food at this all-inclusive is because it's an a la carte menu, they cook it when you order it. And the food there has been absolutely delicious. I've been super impressed. And they have a really great beach where you can watch the sunset on, order some rum punch at night, just lay out, look at the stars. I absolutely loved it at the Soko. And last, 
if you're here for a family getaway, you wanna stay for an extended period, you wanna come and celebrate Christmas over here in Barbados, can't recommend this place enough. This is Green Monkey Villa. This is a five bedroom villa and it is an amazing place to stay. If you just want a little bit of peace and quiet, you're here on your own, you've got your own swimming pool, great kitchen, great rooms. So these are three great recommendations of hotels to stay in. A link to pack where you can book these hotels will be linked in the description so you can find out more about those there. And last but not least, tip number 10. This is in no particular order, but make sure you book restaurants. We had an absolute nightmare situation last night. We went to about three different restaurants and we went at 6.30 when they opened and none of them had availability. And also bear in mind, we're here in September, which is not high season. None of them had availability. For any of the best restaurants such as Tides, Lone Star, any of those kind of places, you will need to book in advance. And if you want the best seats and the best tables in the restaurant, such as by the water at Tides restaurant, you'll need to book at least a month in advance, potentially two weeks to get those seats. You absolutely have to do it or you will be highly disappointed. But there we have it. That is my top 10 travel tips here in Barbados. Hopefully now you are more well equipped to have an incredible stay on this incredible island. So if you have enjoyed this video, again, hit the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel where I post weekly content and hit the notification bell so you hear about when I post. And also there's gonna be a playlist here with all my content from Barbados. So if you wanna see all the daily videos that I posted whilst out here, including the travel guide, which is gonna give you an itinerary of the best things to do and how to do it, click that playlist there. But that is it from me, I'm signing out. See you later.